yeah, Cam has convinced me we're gonna play some uh, Fire Emblem. So blame Cameron. Oh, uh, really? There's an update. So that might not be. Let's see how long this update's gonna take. Awkward. But while that waits, hope everyone's doing all right today. Uh, it's been an interesting day. As I said, we're going to continue to play some stuff. Uh, at least till about 5-ish, 5.30-ish. Uh, we might go do something else then. Actually, about 5.30ish, I gotta go make dinner and stuff uh, before the wife gets home because I have to go and do uh, draft league tonight because for my college, we have a draft league that goes on every semester. And as always, wait, wait. One second, guys. Um, okay. Uh, so, cool thing just happened. I just got a notification from uh, Twitch. Uh, I just uh, made affiliate. So, yeah. That's a thing. Um, I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, that kind of came out of nowhere. Suddenly it's like, Hey, uh, you made affiliate. So, uh, give me a sec. Um, well that downloads, um, yeah. So, do I do normal or do I do hard, guys? I think I want to do normal for the, at least the first run through here.
definitely going classic. I, if I lose my people, I definitely want to be punished for it. I want to play smart here. So I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention to chat right now. I am kind of uh, filling out my affiliate stuff. Call the Red Canyon. You'll die. Uh. Die. Die. You took everything that I loved. But yeah, guys, uh, yeah. Oh my. What could have brought you here? to interrupt a moment of rep now come to me i wish to have a look at you male for this run we do a second run I'm definitely going female hmm I have not seen the likes of you before who are you anyway Do you 
not to see. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Do not deceive. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Yeah, I do. I have all enough space. So actually, most of the, usually for most of my games and stuff, I actually end up using the name uh, Leon. Uh, so it's kind of weird. Uh, huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human name. You must possess a day of birth as well. Never cease. It seems we yeah, share uh, our day we of birth. Made How strange. Guys. Uh, it feels good. Actually, to finally be able to say that. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited actually. Time to wake up. Hey, time you to having that up. dream again? Are you having that dream again? Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. Risking your life is part of the job for Mercer. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Grief. Uh, Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so- Bandits? It's true. They attacked us while we were- We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our- I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. Bandits spotted just outside the village. Damn. I guess they followed you all the way here. We come on, let's move. Hope you're... So guys, uh, I'm gonna let you guys decide on um, what house we go for. Alright, so... It'll either be in Twitch chat or I'll probably do it on... Um, Twitter one or the other so if you don't follow me on Twitter follow me which is at Hawkeye 57 underscore I do a poll on which house we do let's take care of those thieves take down the enemies in front first that should take the wind out of their sin. stay focused Ready and willing. Sorry, but victory is mine. I will prevail. I'll cut through.
We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the... Yes. You have a strip. You say you're a mercenary. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you. in you you never had a chance Golden deer for you. Damn, why are the Attack when an ally is near... What are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> I kind of hate Sothis. Well, then, I'm being I guess honest. it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis, but I'm also known as The Beginning.
And I am also called the beginning. The beginning. Mm -hmm. But who wants I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just that look upon your face. Did you think me a phooey? That child just saved your life. Correct. You understand. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me in. Now what to do? Of course. I must turn back the... Yes, I do believe it can... I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what... Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Just want to head a bottle of water. Hey, did you just... The Knights of Seros are here! We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students! Hey, the thieves are running away! Go after them! The students seem to be unharmed. Ah. Uh. Captain Gerald? It is you! Goodness, it's... Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man! Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. You haven't changed a bit, Alois. Just as loud as ever. And drop that Captain knock. These days I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? So, well, physical differences aside, I'd love for you to see the monitor. <sighs> What's troubling you? Even I. Knights of Saros. It seems your presence is required. Get Cam. going. He's like, why don't you just, if you want to play something fire, I'm like, why don't you just play three houses? I'm like, kind of right. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker, former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. You haven't heard- Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. 
I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. I, I genuinely love Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. Hey, guard, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me? Naive? Tell me. Are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. But it's so no capable, stranger. Her. Let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? So this isn't me deciding, but... <laughs> a wise choice, though the Empire has fallen from its former glory. All right, that's enough with the small talk. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... Part 1. White Clouds. Great Tree Moon. Three Houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlan, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, 
has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Hilgar always unsettles me so much. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. like that who we're gonna recruit and I'm probably gonna try to recruit as many people as possible it's been years since I've last set eyes on this I've never spoken of this to you before I reported to the Archbishop Lady Rhea As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlin are devout. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hey, Liz, <laughs> thanks for the best. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Yeah, I know, right? Now that I finally have it. It's been a, it's been a grind, let's be real. I'm, uh, I'm happy I can't that I got it. Forced back into the Knights of Saros. 
I'm sorry I dragged you into this. It looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Nothing like that. They want you to no. teach, by the sound of it. Yeah, right. like, you heard those brats earlier talking about the office. Well, and apparently no, that I've damned all of So, plans. you uh, must be the new professor. My, my, my how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no, you can handle things from here. Good luck. Uh, so I have people to game with, people to talk and to. Watch out so for that's me. That's not my angle. Yeah. This was just the next. I don't step know what she's thinking, thing. making you a professor like this. Uh, but no, I something. still have a lot Stay I want guard. to do. So, but also. Oh, oh it's you wait, then. So young. So Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. You're not incorrect. I am Hanneman, a crest scholar and professor at the Officers Academy. I wonder if you bear uh, a crest of your points own. That are going when to be set next up you soon. have a moment to spare, I insist that stuff. you pay me a visit so we can delve into uh, the subject have further. That all set up and stuff. I'm Manuela. But I'm yeah, a professor, a physician, about a songstress, five, five and available. Uh, so it's nice we'll to meet you. Get a little bit you. further into this playthrough. Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? Yeah, this the might Middle be Funk a Opera Company is beautiful. I have peerless. Sundays where I don't spare do our now. colleague the uh, needless I'll chaff. I'll either money. move um, Digimon now, to Sundays or I'll do you'll Fire Emblem on Sundays. Of one of the Academy's uh, three houses. Uh, yeah, Sundays I expect are going to be something you else. Been I don't the have nature the nature on Sundays have you? Do you really uh, not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. Then. The is Officers' get Academy dinner, is comprised of three houses of students, tonight. each of which is closely affiliated. Probably the Black not. Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, oh, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Where did Perry go? The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Yeah, no, yeah. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke uh, Regan, the, the leader of the Alliance. So. To think uh, that the I'm next emperor, king, king really and sovereign duke are, are all soon, here. Uh, it certainly is a promising year for the Academy. Stuff, I'll say, I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Quite. I hate to For now, I, in I suggest right now. taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. Yeah. As always, the old man I'll has a point. Oh, and keep in mind days. that I've only notified um, the house Jordan, leaders that you're Jim, our new professor. Or, it's more fun that way. Still. I suggest you try I spending time Jim with the students. Like Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm Liz, sure Lady Rhea like will have more information for you tomorrow, house, but that should I'm get correct. you going. Sense, Good uh, luck. Overwatch. You'll Honestly. need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. Well, then, How trustworthy is this Gerald character? God, is, you, is he Liz not the West man who went missing like after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance you know as well. I, I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. Either way, it's a I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. With you. Yeah.
but yeah, I'm going to be setting up channel points probably after uh, stream and stuff. So you guys can mess with different things. Uh, especially when it comes to uh, Nuzlocke, there will be different things you can mess with. Specifically, like, uh, you have the ability to change Pokemon names. Uh, make me put a Pokemon in the PC and stuff. Stuff like that. It's always fun. Plus, uh, things for other games and everything, so... I assume you are all ready to start. Please speak with the three house leaders. That it once you have finished. May I ask a favor of you? Leaders of the three You there? Ha! I imagine frankly you can't entrust you safe now you should. just put up a curtain for the doorway to kind of help with the sound mitigation. Uh, I'm sure she's not going to be happy about it. That's why I'm going to So, you... I never prop... I am the princess in Arab. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little... What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but... <laughs> actually, that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iyer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... perhaps too pleased with its own status. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing of... else. Well, nothing. He's also fond of... Huh. Well, napping. Man after my own if he heart. had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. He's the second son of Count Burgley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. 
she's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she's shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Hey there. Oh. Yes. Pardon me. Yes, hello, fight. End up being Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Actually, that's about it. Like, his shirt doesn't even fit in the poor dude. Like, look at it. It's like, bam! He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, yep. I do it on purpose. This is why you I have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Is he does things just to entertain himself. That's awesome. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Considering he's a noble from a ruling class, you think he looks Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. Yeah. Right, right. 
Please accept my apologies for the other day. You can't- I am Dimitri Alexandr- Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Me? Oh, um... Please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Hello. Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a... Skirt chaser. <clears throat> Skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. I hear she was born to Imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. I appreciate your effort. So we have uh, students. Uh, is she gonna make me choose now? How are you enjoying your time at the Academy? Hmm. I suppose it is. I must note that I am personally against entrusting some. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lion. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first. Uh, Wiz, help me here. Or whoever's in chat. Who do I pick? Who's in chat? Is it just Wiz? Or just pick someone. Wiz, pick a clash! Wiz, don't be a dick, I love you. Don't be a dick. So there's yellow, blue, or red. So the Empire, the Kingdom, or the Alliance. So you have this, chosen uh, the blue for alliance. Yeah. This will be fun. Your heart has made its choice. They are all promising you brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. Uh, I did mystic. not mean to interrupt. I mean you're right, Wiz. I am in we the middle of something. Mystic. Like, we do make good decisions. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh, my. 
a new addition to the Officers' Academy. I am so very pleased to meet you, but I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. Mm. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain uh, your own abilities instinct. as well. Please do not is disappoint the Archbishop. Good way to that look is all. At the three houses, if I'm being honest, uh, is uh, Mystic is very much Wait, like. Wait, does this mean our new professor cold, is cold? Kind of no, calculating. I really can't style believe it. Where, but I was speaking um, to you so casually, as though we were companions. Oh, I am so brash, sorry, Professor. You just look the same age and, as the rest uh, of us, and is, oh, and, and I'm sorry I just said that too. I really more, must watch my tongue. Like go with the flow, kind of thing. You say that, but I just don't know about all of this. I'll admit, it doesn't sit well with me either. After all, we wish to show you due respect. Sure, but if the Professor says it's okay, shouldn't that be enough? That is, if your highness can consent to such a thing. After all, we're already speaking this way to our future king, so we may as well relax our speech with our professor too, right? I'm well, actually been we're not really in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. I have not been enjoying the game as much. <sighs> I concede. If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept that kindness gratefully. As for me, I'm not sure I can manage. You don't have to force yourself if it's too difficult. You're fine with that too, right, Professor? Come to the training ground later. There, you will show me what you're capable of. You aren't wasting any time, are you, Felix? As it were, count me in for any such battle. <laughs> Pardon me, but I would also love to observe you in battle for future reference, if that's okay with you. Ash, I won't have you speak of merely watching. You should join us as well. <laughs> if you get injured, Nothing simply say selfies. the word and I'll patch you up straight away. Your Highness, do take care not to go overboard. You worry too much to do. The Twitch I'll be fine, I promise. My companions, so, huh? is there not nice something try. inherently wrong with crossing blades I never as a way to bond with each other? Check my Snapchat huh. or anything? I never so, thought of it that way. Like, well, well if that's Snapchat, how you feel, I suppose you'll just stay behind while the rest of us are at the training ground? Ingrid, my dearest friend, you really are too harsh on me. Well then, Professor, what do you think? As you can see, the Blue Lion House is a lively bunch. You'll find none who work harder. Ooh, I also I'm certain we'll cause Instagram. our fair share of trouble, but I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. Cause you, who uses Instagram? I don't like to take pictures, so Instagram feels gross to me. No, I sneezed and it hurt. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to... You don't know about crests. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before, one, they are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They, those who carry crests may excel at magic. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure, as I said. Crests are passed down. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, you and you just happened to inherit it. That is how. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and yes, hold I do. out I your arm over this you're device. Not 
What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. I literally is have the possible? evidence. An as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that... I don't have any sauce. <clears throat> I have more research. It would at least tell hmm. me, hey, you have a sauce. What could this line here? What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. With each moon, professors of the Officers Academy, it notes the days on which event. Pay careful attention to your schedule. These are the students, commoners. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here. Speaking of... Yes. His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no co- But if you mistreat him in any way... I have a request. I hear there will be a mock battle soon. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learn. As this is your first time at the monastery, both students and teachers of the op. For example, you can dine with others at the dining hall or partake in one-on-one. -on -one I encourage you to wander around the monastery. There are bulletin boards in various places around the monastery. There, you can find requests from various okay, sources done. as well as information about the market. I'm if you so fulfill sorry. these requests, you sh the bulletin board gets updated frequently. You would do well to check it once a month. This probably goes without saying, but it's helpful to plan out. Professors at the officers, students and teachers alike, must devote themselves to their studies. And Teach. I hear there's gonna be a. Mo I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit. That's so. Who's the kitty? Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned. Just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, 
Did you come to look at the plants too? There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. My adopt. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the moods. My thanks. No. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. My brother, the monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother. Might you help me with a favor? many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. I just found her absolutely adorable. I'm busy. Do you want something? I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to being... Listen, this Felix here, I'm kind of reminds me of you. He's a bit of a... Oh, I really need to eat. Why can't the dining hall... Busy. If you're looking for the <laughs> Professor? Hey Professor, if we could try to pick up beautiful girls. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask.
either Dorothea or Bernadette. What do you see? What is or Lysimpia. Loving that we you're not hopeless. We're gonna do it. Oh wait, I can invite more than one. You're really enjoying that we cleared off that uh heater Ooh, vent, aren't you? This is my favorite! You've got great taste. So you got one of the heater I vents. think I like this, but it's Completely been a while, so I'm not so like she can actually get to it. And now she just lays on. Nice! I knew I could count on you. Much appreciated. Actually, that's one of the big mechanics for the game was, so spoiler alert, I'm going to be doing that. It's actually part of the game is you do actually start, I mean, it's not like you're that much older than your students, actually, that's the funny thing. And also, technically, you're part god, so you literally don't age. Ah, it's finally time for the mock battle. Like, a lot of I'm your eager to put my uh, skills to use. Comment and on you, professor? the fact that you're, uh... Not that much older than them, and at the Excellent. beginning of it, uh, they I have high expectations for your oh, command. I don't know if I can take that said, serious, our opponents are mighty. That age. much is certain, but I'm positive we can win. Hey there, did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries. We'll just join in now. Nice try, Claude. But I do not intend to let slip our strategies, especially when we are up against such strong opponents as you two. Well now, kind words from his kingliness. If that's the case, we'd better come up with some clever schemes so as not to disappoint. Right, princess? Right. No matter the tactics you do, I don't agree with it. I'm not. We'll destroy you. Uh, the best you can you hope for is to learn a thing or two. With your students in a romantic <laughs> There's way. nothing wrong with a friendly so, uh, rivalry, but let's spoilers. not get carried away. Spoilers. A rash spoilers. attitude could be your undoing after all. Hmm. Perhaps your time would be better spent preparing instead of worrying about the competition's mindset. Hey now, if you two were getting this fired up before the battle even starts, it'll make it that much easier for my class to sweep up a win. So please, carry on. A good point, Claude. I apologize, that wasn't my intention. At any rate, let's oh, vow God. to make this a productive battle, shall we? Oh, in that case, I won't hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. So we're definitely not doing auto battle because we do actually have it. <laughs>
It is about time for the battle to... I'm sure you're already on it. Incidentally, I'll be... Stay focused. Here we go! I'll give it my all. What should I do? I'll cut through. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposite. Me? <sighs> are you making light of our new professor? Dorothea, will you head toward the front lines? I wish to draw the enemy toward us. You got it, Aidy. Ferdinand, Hubert, if the enemy... Leave it to us. Oh, <laughs> clearly not. Or Her Highness would not ask me to walk. What is that? Sufficient. Now I have to. Well done, Teach. I may have to take this series. Caution. Are you really gonna fight? Victory is in sight, Black Eagle.
had to be done. The better to... to return. Sufficient. Use caution. Cut through.
Should I have held back? So, you... This victory is the result. <laughs> Professor, I've been looking for you. I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both a victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? Of course. After all, we fought hard out there. Such exertion is bound to make anyone hungry for respite. Don't you agree? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. He's right. He really is. We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor. Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, your tactics were nearly decent. Uh, Felix, you really ought to stop picking fights with his highness. Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. And I must agree that the professor's tactics were truly extraordinary. I have much to learn. Oh, sure. But today was exhausting. I'm so hungry I can barely stand. To be honest, so am I. Let's head to the dining hall. Together. Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but you don't look too happy for someone who just won. Hmm. Well, I understand. I know we only just met, so this may be difficult for you, but I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. So joy uh, can be so fleeting after all. We're all in this together, be, uh, so I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the it's class feels the very fun. same. Well, come along, Professor. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Gerald trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Thank you, Kymus. Yes, I'm actually really excited. Wow, it's kind of dying to get it. Those yeah. affiliated with Garrick Mock Monastery have a moral obligation to help those students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. 
You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeat. I can sense something special within you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first hey, met? Hey, Kamis. You shall not fall so shamelessly song, again, man. correct? I genuinely appreciate it. Have you no words yeah, for me? Yeah, see the first sub Kamis. Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Dan Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, yeah, this isn't what official. I agreed to! I actually didn't realize I had made affiliate. Hiring a mercenary as a uh, professor. The Fire Emblem what was that I'm woman thinking? Official, like, first affiliate Are you screen, listening to me? Line. How do we finish uh, this? You die. Probably end up being what? Tomorrow? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. Thank now you. I must look. Wait! Get back here! Uh, damn you! Uh, yeah, we're gonna save here, uh, and that's actually where we're gonna end today. Uh, so we're gonna save and call it a day here. So, do, do, do. part. So we're gonna go find somebody to raid quick if anybody's actually even on. So let's check that out. It's always hard rating random people because I don't know their apps or handles, so it makes it really hard. So we're going to go back and forth. Uh, yep, I got that right. So we're going to go raid somebody else who's playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, yet again, thank you guys for coming to hang out. Uh, I'm going to have an official first stream as affiliate probably tomorrow. Um, thank you guys for coming to hang out and stuff, uh, but we're going to continue to do some cool stuff. Uh, I will talk to you guys later.